Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to Planet Crafter. It's been a minute, huh, since we've been in here. Yeah, it's been a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I did get done since the last time we played. Head upstairs real quick just so we can check out the monitor. You can see I've got 10 rockets for seeds and asteroids, 9 on the magnetic field, and 9 plant rockets. And I got the GPS level 4 satellite up there, which basically just means that when I go up to my pretty little map here, I can zoom all the way out now because GPS level 4 is as far as it goes. Now, there's been a couple things added to the game, big update-wise, since the last time I played. And one of those is the fish and animal update, which we're currently on our way to. We're at 86% to get to the fish stage. We're at the breathable oxygen part right now, which is fantastic, because I can run around outside and have infinite uh, O2. I don't have to worry about carrying bottles with me anymore. But, one of the things that was added is this little nifty contraption right here, and that is the drone station. So, from here, you can go in, you can craft some drones and then you get the drones and what you can do from there is you basically here's all the information if you didn't know how it works so you go to any storage thing you have in the game and you have a new cog that i'll show you here in just a second a new cog that you can decide you want it to either be a source of or a destination to so let me see basically here so we got this cog click on that so on the demand this is you were telling the demand is where you want stuff to go to the supplies where you wanted to go from so if on this particular one i wanted to demand that the drones will bring me iridium uranium rods i put that here and then the drones will go out to the supply source wherever i put that at and bring some cool huh yeah i know it sounds a lot more complicated and we'll uh, you know try to show more what it does when we get back the other thing that was added is now there is a space trading so we got this teeny tiny little single stage rocket versus the big mamma jam as we build over there. So from here, what you can do is you put in stuff that you want to be able to send off to sell. And I'll show you what you can sell there. These are the valuable items down here. And you can see as you hover over them, it's worth a certain number of Terra tokens. I have 206, mostly because I found two chips that give me 100 each. And each one of these is worth a certain number of Terra tokens. And then after you build up Terra Tokens, this is what you can actually buy. So I'm saving up to get me a cooking station because new blueprints can be um, bought from here. And I want to make a cooking station, but it takes 400. So what you can do, here's the hypothetical thing that we're going to do, is you can set up these drones to automatically get items from a ore extractor, take them to an auto crafter. The auto crafter will do what it needs to do to convert it to an item you want it to be out of one of these down here. And then the drones will bring it over here. And when you set this as enabled, when it gets completely full, it'll automatically launch itself. So that's what the objective is today. We're gonna try to get that to work because in theory, I know how it works. And in practice, I know how it works, but in brain power, I'm not sure if I can do it or not. <laughs> so we'll have to see. So there's a couple things. Uh, you've got to be a little bit far into the development of the game, uh, I guess, progression wise, before you can do this. Let me show you. Drone station. There it is. Okay. So it's the, it's the milestone you get right before the aquarium at 120. I'm at almost 110. So I'm almost to the aquarium, but the drone stations right there doesn't take a tremendous amount of materials to be able to build a drone station right here. Okay, so it takes some it takes some materials. <laughs> I was slightly off on that one. Osmium rods, fusion energy cells, super alloys, and three circuit boards. All of which you're not going to be getting on the first day. Okay. All right, here's the other thing we have set up. Let me teleport over to my super alloy valley. It saves me so much time and effort. All right, inside this nifty little cave here, this is where super alloy spawns in if you didn't know that. So what I have set up here is a tier three extractor. Now with a tier three extractor, you can tell it exactly what you want it to get. So it's not going and getting all of the random crap. So by having a tier three, it's only going to gather the stuff that I want it to get. And right at the moment, I have both of the drones that I have made set to come over here to that chest. Let me show you real quick here. See this chest, Click on the cog. You can see right now, this is the supply. I have it set to supply super alloy because I'm going to need a bunch of that. And then back here at the drone station, you can see I have this set to demand that. So I have two drones right at the moment. Uh, what they're doing right now is they're going to fly back and forth between here and there. They're going to go inside that extractor tier three chest. Anytime there's a super alloy, they're going to get it, fly it back here and put it in here. And that's how I've been able to get all of these so far. And it sounds like we have another storm rolling in. We've had a few storms lately. 
For this to be a fairly terraformed place, we sure are getting a lot of storms. Oh, also, uh, real quick, just because it's kind of pretty, I did unlock the next little butterfly habitat here. The open butterfly farm instead of the domes. So we have pretty butterflies out here. Generates a decent chunk of insects. You know, there's something to be said about having a nice, beautiful purple sky. It's just... It's just kind of pretty, as long as things aren't raining down trying to kill me. Hang on, go ahead and top off my water. Let me top top off my water here. Okay. Uh, maybe I can't do it while it's purple. I have no idea. Usually I can just drink straight out of the water. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so I need to make myself a couple more drones before we do this. Let me go back outside and see what I need to make some drones here. I clicked on the wrong one. In order to make a drone, I need rocket engines, circuit boards, and iron. So even to be able to make the drones themselves takes a little bit of effort. Rocket, circuit board, and iron. Uh, I don't think I've seen a pink storm before. I hope it doesn't mean bad things are about to happen. Okay, so rocket, circuit board, and iron. Okay, I have enough to make two more. I've got two drones already. The more drones you have, obviously, the more efficient your little system can go. So now I have, wait, did I not get the, I did do the other one. Okay, so now I have this drone sitting there. You can see how many drones you have. I have four drones total. One of them is heading towards supply and two of them are heading towards demand. So one of them is currently where I'm, you know, trying to get them from over there. And the other one is right over here. Also something to keep in mind is when you set this up right here, you have a priority system. The priority is in order which ones is the drones are going to go to first. Like priority nine is the highest. Or just whatever number you go. Priority five is the highest. Sorry. that So it'll go to there first before it goes to any of the other ones. So I just left it at one for the moment. So you can see right now we got another super alloy coming over here. So here's what I'm planning on doing. Let me see if that fixed the water and made it so I can drink again. Okay, so that's what it is. Just purple haze made it so I can't drink the water. Sure, 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 why not? Okay, so I have an auto crafter right here. And what you can do is with the auto crafter, when you build this, it goes through and it, it lists all of the different containers you have with a certain different area or a certain radius, which is pretty far, of this and what it'll try and bring from. And then what you do is you click in here and select what you want it to try and make. So I want it to make super alloy rods. So now what it's going to do is it's going to cycle around here and it's going to continue to look through all of the local, all of the local supply options there and make all of the super alloys that it can until it's completely full. See, I'm out of super alloys now. This is where I normally keep them. I don't have enough to make any. So I'll put all of those over there and you hear it going plink again. So here's what we need to do now is I have a couple drones going back and forth between over there to over here bringing super alloys. What I need to do now is I need to have the super alloys and I think it'll actually, I'm not sure. Hold on, let me see, is, let me see, can I, does the drone station actually count? Okay, so it doesn't look like the drone station counts as part of the storage. So here's what I need to do instead. You go out here to the drone station, and instead of having them bringing in alloy right here, what I need to do, turn you off, uh, change you to nothing. Get rid of you real quick. So they'll still go for the supply over there, but they will try to come back over here. I'm going to see if this works. We're going to see if this works. The demand, I need you to bring in super alloy to right here. And that's going to be priority going to be one. Okay, we're good to go from there. And then this is going to craft these. So now this is going to be set up as my supply of super alloy rods. Okay, so this will be my supply of super alloy rods. Now, what I want to see if I've got this. See, that's what the drone looks like right there. Just this little thing be bopping around. Kind of cute, huh? They, unfortunately, they can, uh, they don't. They don't uh, run into things. They can basically just clip through the world. See, they go on a straight wall and they teleport through the world, which is exactly what it needs to do. Okay, so we set this one as the demand for super alloy rods. And we're going to set you as priority two. No, we're going to set you as priority one. I need to set the other ones as there. Now you're set to automatically go here. Okay, so hypothetically, hypothetically, 
that should work. The drone should go back and forth to over there. And then they should be... This is my tree farm, sorry. They should be bringing that in and s slapping them in right here. Anytime they get some, they're going to bring them to this chest because this is where the demand is. Priority one. This, whenever it gets enough, is going to automatically make some. And then this is set up as the supplier. And so I'm hoping the drones, when they fly back and forth, will go over there. So I want to go over here and look at the info board for this thing real quick to see if... It's wrong one. This one, see if it tells me that's what we're going for. Inventory supplying. All right, so super alloy, super alloy. This is where we have. So super alloy is a demand. Those are both demands. Super alloy. Okay, so it's doing what they're supposed to do right now. Make sure I don't have any. And you can make as many drones as you have supplies for. The more drones you have, the more efficient it runs. Um, but something to keep in mind is that if you have it set up so that they're going back and forth really far, like right now, the let me show you here real quick on El Mapo. Zoom all the way out so you can see it. All right, so this little central circle right here, this is me. Way up right over here is the cave where the super alloy is. And this is most of the entire world. So you can see it's a little bit of a distance for them to travel back and forth. So it's not super fast. And then from here, they'll travel back and forth. It's a shorter distance right here to the actual rocket itself. Let me grab a little bit extra food real quick. Uh, I think I have some beans in here. Sure do. Quick save. One of the things I have always loved about this game is how fast it loads and how fast it saves. It's like from the main menu, you click the load game button. It's like two seconds the game's open and running. Yes, it's freaking working, man. And so when it gets completely full, it'll automatically launch. Now, Super Alloy Rod, here's what it does here. So Super Alloy Rod, I get six Terra tokens. It's not a tremendous amount. But since I have... Um, the tier 3 ore extractor I'm only going to get super alloy I could set up a tier extractor over there at my uranium cave and have it do the exact same thing over there and so it's making uranium rods the most valuable thing at the moment is engines rocket engines and I think I could technically I mean okay so realistically and technically you can set up your auto crafter over here to make engines so if I so desired and I wanted to have it to make engines, but you can see that takes iridium rods, uranium, super alloys. And so in order to constantly make sure I had those supplies, I would have to have multiple drones going. I would have to have my auto crafter. I have to have another auto crafter set up to make the uranium rods. It, it would just be a whole deal. And so you can see that if you have enough drones, you can actually automate a tremendous amount. I want to make, let's see, I've got two more of those. I'm going to make one more drone just to kind of make it as efficient as possible. All right, so that'll put it up now. I have five drones. So this is where they're going right now. We have super alloy, super alloy, super alloy. We're good to go on there. Let me get some water real quick. Okay, well, while we're here waiting for that to finish doing this thing, there was one other thing I wanted to show you that's not really a secret, but it's a trick to help you out a little bit. All right, so... Circuit boards, you need those to be able to make the drones, to be able to make the um, shopping rocket ship. You need it to make a bunch of things here, but you can't make it until you get your terra uh, terraformation index up to 160. And you can see I'm not even there. So I'm gonna show you what you can do. So this very first wreck up on the hill, we're gonna fly over here and I'm gonna show you two things about it, just in case you're new to the game. If you're using this as some sort of tutorial, cause it kind of is set up that way, the way I made it out here versus just a standard let's play. I'll show you something that's kind of cool. Two things with this up here that will help you out tremendously. All right, so we're inside the ship. So once you get to a certain level and you have the deconstructor level two, I think it is, where's it at? Or you is. Deconstructor level two, you can do the advanced level thing. So using the scroll wheel, you switch over to the little broken hammer looking thing on your um, tool icon thing and then what you can do is you look for electronic equipment like computer equipment we'll see if i can find one to show you that's a good size tv we should be able to take that back at the house all right let me see there's probably some in here i haven't really hit this ship up mo there we go okay so these technical debris if you have your deconstructor and you break these apart bam you got a circuit board so if you are at a point in the game where you cannot make circuit boards yet like i am then you just need the little uh, the higher level deconstructor tool which is really not hard to get and then you just go into any of the wreck sites and break those apart and boom circuit boards out the wazoo so that's a pro tip on how to get circuit boards the easy way the other thing i wanted to show you like in this particular ship if you've explored this one you know right up in here you have 
an open fusion reactor. There's one in, there's at least two wrecks, possibly three. No, there's three wrecks so far that I found that all have these in here. If you make yourself a fusion energy cell, which again takes a lot while to get up there, and you put it in here, it turns on, and then you'll hear a sound of a whir, basically. And what it does is some of these round hatch doors, you'll hear them open. And then there's a bunch of cross beams that you've got to deconstruct with your tool here. And you go inside and it opens up a new area of the ship so that you can find things like, you know, extra treasures in here. Now I'll leave some of this behind because I don't necessarily need it, but that is how you gain access to some of the cutoff parts of the ship that you're just not quite able to get to early on. Is you need to have the little fusion cell, put it in the reactor, and it powers it on. Now, so far, the two other places that I've actually done this and successfully got it to work is the arch right over there, which is way off over in the desert area. You can go inside and there's a reactor there. And the big crash that's right over here, it also has one in there. Or, I don't remember it, this one or it may be this one and that one over there. I may have done actually four of them. So it's a good way to get supplies there. And when you go over there, it's almost like super secret treasure. Every one of the chests that I opened up while doing that gave me a tremendous amount of good stuff. You know, like um, fusion rods or plasma rods, I should say. It's being wonky. There we go. Just being wonky. I've never actually seen it do that before. All right. I want to see where our rocket is in terms of how full it is got four rods in there okay so just to kind of speed up the process a little bit here this you can go ahead and manually launch it if you want to so we're going to do that just so you guys can see what it does this is teeny tiny little no nothing rocket little bitty thing bye bye i haven't tested to see if you could knock it on its side and send it off into nothingness like normal because that's just kind of funny so anyway, it flies up in the air. It doesn't do anything as far as like your terraformation stats like the other rockets do. But then here in just a little bit, and I don't know exactly how long it takes. It's not a tremendous amount of time. What it does is it'll bring up a notification on the screen and it'll say uh, X number of credits added to your account, basically for everything that you just sold. All right, so we got a bunch of circuit boards and we got a rocket engine. You know what? So while we while we have it, we might as well let's make ourselves a little another drone so to expedite this process. So what I'm thinking about doing is having a wrong one is having enough drones here to where I can go back and forth for super ore, and then let me see where is my green marker right over there. That green marker for me, I'll show you real quick. El Mapo here, the green marker. Let me see, I'm right here is right up here, I think. It doesn't show your markers on the map for some reason. Anyway, right up here is a uranium cave. So if I set up a tier three extractor, uh huh, a tier three extractor, it will get only the uranium ore that I need. And then I would have to have it brought back and I would probably have to set up another auto crafter and that would go through and I would have it make myself uranium rods and then I can have the uranium rods sent over to the rocket as well so uh, let's see we're almost to 120 on the old uh, terraformation index and that'll take us up Ooh, we're almost to the next level of there too by the way, just a minor pro tip if you're playing the game and you're trying to figure out how to get your terraformation index up generate as much of all of this as you possibly can so biomass, pressure, heat, and oxygen, these are the things you're trying to generate as much for. So you can see like right now I'm generating 6.2 million parts per cubic uh, square cubes over here. And then over here, 603,000, 435,000, and 278,000 units for each one's got a different level of units. The rockets that you can shoot off in the air, you can see each one of those increases the production level of all the things you have by a thousand or two thousand. So my total oxygen content is being improved by 10,000% than the base level stuff that's out there. So more rockets you have in the air, the more percentage it goes up. So we're going to wait just a little bit longer for our rocket to return so you can see what it likes when we get our credits back. Oh, I forgot to show you. If you look inside the space trading menu and the rocket's gone, it tells you how long you have left to go. So, a little over 200 seconds left. It's, what, three minutes? It's not that big a deal. And it shows you how many tokens you have available left. So, got a little bit of time left. Not too long. It'll be back here shortly. What 
in the hell was that? It was just one random meteor right here. That looked like it just rained down a whole bunch of chests. What in the... I've never seen that. <gasps> what was that? It's an uncommon larva. One random meteor came in and just dropped a whole bunch of chests down to... This is some good stuff. Oh, look, each one of these terracotta... You find these little gold tokens here. You click on it, uh, well, you right click on it basically, and boom, it gives you 100 terracoins there. Oh, man. I didn't even know this was a thing. All of you guys got to um, straight up see some awesomeness here. I don't even know how to describe what this is. I, I don't know, but I'm happy about it. Okay, is that all the chest? I've never seen that before. Has anybody seen that happen? I mean, is that something that's common? Also, you can break apart these chests so they're not floating here. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss any. Well, that's fan freaking tastic. Now I should have enough and the rocket should be coming in here pretty soon. I want to know what that was. I haven't got any communication to tell me that's, you know, something fantastic or not. All right, guys, so we've got just a couple seconds. We should get some more terror tokens for this rocket coming in. And there it goes. It popped up to let you know, hey, there's your 24 new Terra tokens you got for the rocket that came out. So as soon as it gets back into the atmosphere, it gives you credit for your tokens. So I'm kind of curious. I want to see how many I have total. No way. 5,530? 5, there ain't no way that's how many I actually have. No way at all. Yay! Unlock the aquarium. Nice. Once we get to or reach the fish level. Nice. Okay, I got to see if this is actually what's going on here. 5,500... <gasps> I got 5,500 tokens? 5,500! Oh my god, that's fantastic. Okay, well, let's see. How about we'll get a, a cooking station. We'll get one of those. Uh, how about some cocoa seeds, some wheat seeds, because those are new. Smart fabric. Blueprint screen to unlock a new... Shoot, we got We got points to spare. Might as well. Uh, let me see, a customizable sofa and a bed, don't care. Uh, tree seed, sure, oh, 3,500, eh. Fish, eggs, butterfly, valeria, okay, so some of this stuff is expensive. D two drones for 12,000. Hell, I thought I was living high on the hog, I'm not anywhere close. Okay, so, uh, once this finally returns, we will be able to get our return, uh, we'll be able to get our thing over here. This is going to automatically launch when it's full, so I'm gonna leave that all up alone. And we're pretty much going to wrap it up from there. It's going to keep it as a shorter video today. If you guys want to see more of Planet Crafter, let me know in the comments. You know, leave likes and stuff on the video. It helps out tremendously, of course. And, you know, you know, share the video out. And we'll do some more videos of this. But uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm just kind of stoked about the old, uh, you know free chest that came raining down. I was not expecting that. That's fantastic. But anyway, we're going to get all this sorted out here and uh, yeah, we're going to call this one good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.